Greetings, unsettled souls. Yeah! Welcome to the correct news. I am your host, Sam Deganji. Another piece of this month's massive Fukushima update. You know, within the last four years, I have become a rather bleak person. Um, I can sometimes think up the most depressing things while brushing my teeth. Things other people would have come up in a nightmare on Halloween night at the stroke of midnight if someone was conjuring the devil at the foot of their bed. That said, I'm happy that I have never in my life been able to relate very well to those who would do things like promote the building of nuclear weapons to reach an agenda regardless of what level of death, destruction, or misery that means for everyone else. Believe me, I know what it's like to screw up. Shocking though it is. Let's just... Uh, I'm sort of like the North Korea expert, if there, if, uh, if somebody is such a thing. Um, I probably published, I've had published about 50 articles from them, about them, I should say, via Teddy Stick, the Conservative Daily Post. I think I've written an article or two for Blasting News. I don't know, they take articles down after a while. Um, but... There's no, there's no question here. You can't ask North Korea to be comfortable with giving up their nuclear ambitions when America is led by people who are continuing to do war exercises directly off the coast of South Korea. Now, some people are wondering why America would feel the need to pursue a deterrent with North Korea when North Korea was already in talks with the United States regarding peace. Well, that was one of the mistakes that I think Donald Trump made. And you guys know I support the Trumpster, but that was a mistake. It was a bad idea. It was an incorrect view, if you will. Um, I'm pretty sure I know why. It has to do with the fact that it's the only theater that close to China where America can sort of strut its stuff and flex its muscles, if you will. It gives China a sort of a message, hey, don't mess with us, look what we're capable of. Don't mess with Taiwan, don't mess with Hong Kong, don't mess with South Korea, don't mess with Japan. I. I I get the logic behind it, but it's not worth it. And if you doubt me, then I will be happy to prove it to you largely from this. Uh, PRI.org, I guess it's originally the Associated Depressed, hat tip rush, rival Korea's test missiles hours apart, rising tensions. North and South Korea each tested, it says, ballistic missiles on Wednesday, just hours apart, in a display that is sure to exacerbate tensions on the peninsula at a time when talks aimed at stripping north of its nuclear program are stalled. Or keep in mind, this was published on uh, September 15th. South Korea's presidential office said the, the country conducted its first submarine-launched ballistic missile test. It said the domestically built missile flew from a submarine and hit its designated target while President Moon, jo Moon, Jae-in, Moon, jo Moon Jae-in and other top officials looked on. Moon said improvements in the country's missile capabilities would serve as a sure deterrence against North Korea provocation. Again, do you really believe that this is about stopping North Korea? Be 
because one of the reasons, and keep in mind, North Korea, of course, is led by a madman. Kim Jong-un is anything but sane, um, and his sister is worse. But this article, and what else do you expect from the mainstream media? Uh, and not, not meaning PRI, meaning the Associated Depressed. Um, it seems this is a bit much for that. If anything, it's making tensions worse with North, North Korea. It's spurring them on because they saw what we did to Gaddafi when Gaddafi did what we are asking Kim Jong-un to do. So even though he's nuts, he does have logic here. I don't think this is about North Korea only. Let me know in the comment lines if you agree. Uh, again, lines, because this is on a few different sites. Earlier Wednesday, the democratic, wonderful, free government of North Korea fired two short-range ballistic missiles into the sea. Those launches came two days after the North said that it fired a newly developed cruise missile, its first weapons test in six months. Boy, that's really close to when Trump left office, but that must be a coincidence. <clears throat> Experts say uh, that uh, North Korea is building up its weapon systems to apply pressure on the United Nations in hopes of winning relief from sanctions aimed at forcing the North to abandon its nuclear arsenal. So if you give us money, we won't keep building nuclear bombs. Yeah, that certainly worked great for Iran. Um, U.S.-led talks on the issue have been stalled for more than two years, and in the meantime, tensions have been rising on the Korean Peninsula. Listen, if you think that Iran didn't continue their nuclear weapons program when Obama gave them that deal, then mathematically speaking, you have no explanation for how they were as far along as they were when Trump was angry. What I'm saying is, you can tell by the decay of certain nuclear materials which are known to have existed at the site, that they continued to enrich uranium after Obama and Kerry gave them that terrible deal. Rewind that, play it again, because it's very important to the conversation. It says here, quote, North Korea is trying to communicate a message that things will not go as Washington wishes. Well, with Biden in office, who knows? If it doesn't accept the North's demands, said Moon Seung Mook, an analyst with the Seoul-based Korea Research Institute for National Strategy. He said that North Korea may think that it has an opportunity now to win concessions from U.S. President Puppet Joe Biden's administration while it is embroiled in a domestic debate following the chaotic pullout from Afghanistan. Again, everybody is seeing Joe as the weak puppet that he is due to that. You can read the rest of the article here. It's rather long, but you get the point. You get the point, friends. The entire world is testing America right now. And if you can look at the news, for the day, and not think that America is failing that test in the eyes of the world, then you have some rose-colored glasses, my friend. Uh, do me a favor, leave me comments, please hit share, please hit subscribe. I cannot convey to you how important it is to hit, uh, hit share. A lot of times that gets us around the censors and the bots and the <coughs> corrupt algorithms. Also, uh, you can get a hold of me at the correct views at hotmail.com. And uh, you can also donate uh, through the, the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. Good night, friends. God bless. Hey, thanks for listening.